Yates, his teammate Adam Yates is up towards the back. Thomas Marczynski here, the former Polish champion, still there for Lotto Sudal as well. As we can see, movement from UAE team Emirates on the right hand side too. Anas At Al Abdia is still there. It moves up and it's Valerio Conti who's going to have a go at the front. 17.2% they go on to. While Pauls is there for Sky, look at Peter Sagan in the white jersey. Take a look at the driveways at the side of the road if you want to see how steep this road is. And these riders really are grinding up. It's Sagan right up the front there in the mix. Being dropped to the back with 203 on his back is Jan Hurt. This is Valerio Conti, who remember on the Giro d'Italia looks set to win a stage when he crashed out on an uphill on a bend. Very, very close, and that was on the stage that was won by Gorka Isagire. He's still in this group somewhere as Peter Sagan is holding on. At the minute, Conti looks like he's riding away from them. Everybody looking around, and this is a great opportunity for the young Italian. Yeah, the, uh, the gradient of this climb does ease off the further they get up it and closer to the finish. Opened up a nice gap here, Conti has, and we can just see in the background is Yates attacking now on the front of the group. Adam Yates in the navy blue then. Valerio Conti have been looking to make it two in two for team Emirates but look at this from Adam Yates and he's being followed by Dylan Turns the winner in the Tour of Wallonia last week Yates is getting close the gradient is still mightily steep it's up at 15.1 percent here Yates looks around and sees Turns with him a man in form the Belgian but look at Adam Yates great right there by Adam Yates former white jersey winner in the Tour de France again in the background looks to be struggling a little bit Pops of Vivo still there though well, Adam Yates at the minute at the front with the green helmet on and the navy top. He still has Dylan Turns with him, 200 metres to go. The gradient is still at 15% here. Sam Ullman is gaining up behind Pozzo Vivo in the brown shorts as well. And look at Dylan Turns, who's going to hit the front. Turns, who took two stages in the Tour of Wallonia the other week and won the overall, is looking mightily strong. Wilco Kelderman is gaining, though, just behind him. Kelderman wearing 85, and there is Wilco Sagan. Kelderman now. Can he catch? Dylan turns, Kelderman the time trialist and here comes Peter Sagan as well this climb is going on forever and ever and ever, a huge steep wall and can Dylan turn survive well Sagan is smashing his way through this group but we're right into the advertising hoardings now Micah as well coming back through another left turn to go spiral staircase almost to the top and I think that Dylan Turns might just have this Turns saying surely he's got it now it's Turns first Sagan second Micah third with Kelderman there as well and Dylan Turns who followed the right wheel when Adam Yates attacked able to time his own attack and hold on brilliantly and he can just not stop winning at the moment Turns with two stages and the overall at his home tour of Wallonia in Belgium here takes a World Tour win on stage three of the Tour of Poland.